Hello and a very warm welcome to this tutorial about volume automation. I'm doing that in Bitwig, but you can do that in every DAW as well. So let's get started. So, um, when you have a sound and you want to modulate uh, the volume of that sound, there are different ways to, uh, to autom automate that. You can use uh, ADSR or anything else. You could um, use the out device from that um, synthesizer, for example, to modulate the sound. I have here a pet working. And I want to modulate it. So what I can do is just use add automation lane then go to my automation lanes and just set my automation, for example, like that. Or like here and going up here again and so on and so forth. This is one way, but if I do that, I can't modulate that because um, when I play every DAW, you get uh, your automation. Your automation is broken and it stops automating it. So um, you could as well automate uh, your uh, channel volume like this. And I can just copy and paste this above, for example. Now you have your modulation working like that. But now you're not able um, to modulate that as well. What you can do is uh, just to avoid all these conflicts, you just put a tool or utility device in there and uh, there you modulate your volume. So now if you're modulating the volume right now, it like that for example, maybe not that high, a little bit too much, something like this, far too much. And now this device is getting modulated. You still can configure your sound here or you can configure your sound here. So this is one way to do it. But uh, sometimes you didn't uh, think about that and you modulate it. For example, your um, volume strip from, from the track. So you, mo you modulate that here and you did a lot of modulation. You don't want to uh, copy and paste it across the whole track because there's uh, several clips and everything. Uh, but you need to change this volume. What you can do is you can go the other way around. So the, the um, automation is still correct, but it's maybe far too loud or uh, too silent. You just put a tool on a utility um, device behind that. And now you can um, adjust the volume for your track. For example, this advantage is you can't see it over here because this is um, automated. You have to um, um, configure your volume over here. so. It's a little bit invisible, but it's a nice trick or a nice workaround if you just did all the work already and you don't want to uh, um, start over again only because you um, you won't do that everything right and you did that one mistake. So this is a nice little trick that you do it over here normally, like uh, using an extra device for that. And if you didn't do that, and, but you need to adjust your volume, you can do it with this device as well, as well with a, a little disadvantage that you can't see it over here or directly on the device itself. So that's all for now. And um, I would ask you um, kindly to um, do me a favor. That would be very nice of you. Thank you very much. See you and bye bye.